Honky Tonk was, um, was almost an accident how we came upon that. I was developing uh, another bakery flavor and decided sort of last minute that I wanted to incorporate some tobacco notes to it. Um, I was really enjoying the idea of creating a tobacco that wasn't a straightforward tobacco, but something that had a sweetness to it and a, more like a, a bran muffin. And I realized that those two flavor profiles, tobacco and, uh, and grains, uh, honey and nuts and, and oats actually go very well together. So when I was in research and development for Honky Tonk, I was adding different flavors and I added this dried fruit element that I hadn't planned on. And when I realized my mistake, I was about to toss the, the batch that I was making. And my wife Ellen dared me to try it. And I took her up on that dare and I was really surprised on how First of all, it changed the profile I was working on completely. And secondly, it was great. I thought it was fantastic. And it took a while to replicate the mistake that I had made, but that actually became Honky Tonk as it is today. So Honky Tonk's this great blend of different dried fruits, different toasted nuts, graham muffin, grains, and just a hint of banana to tie it all together. And of course, you've got your tobacco flavors in there. And it's just this real enigmatic blend of tobacco and bakery. I call it a dessert tobacco. And it's, uh, it's hard to explain, but it's one of my favorites. It's great.